on. In a moment, I'll be joined by Kentucky Senator Rand Paul. But first, here's the backstory. Earlier today, President Obama gave prepared remarks on gun safety, and he tried to explain that the Senate's gun control proposals are consistent with the Second Amendment. Watch. Earlier this month, the Senate advanced some of the most important reforms gun violence. All of them are consistent with the Second Amendment. None of them will infringe on the rights of responsible gun owners. What they will do is keep guns out of the hands of dangerous people who put others at risk. And this is our best chance in more than a decade to take common sense steps that will save lives. Wow. This is our best chance. Unfortunately for the Obama administration, not all law-abiding gun owners agree. But he didn't stop there. President Obama even went so far as to say that his proposals are not controversial. Watch. None of these ideas should be controversial. Why wouldn't we want to make it more difficult for a dangerous person to get his or her hand on a gun? Why wouldn't we want to close the loophole that allows as many as 40% of all gun purchases to take place without a background check? Why wouldn't we do that? You ask Americans outside of Washington, including many gun owners, some of these ideas, they don't consider them controversial. Unfortunately, Mr. President, some of the measures you are proposing are controversial and will limit the Second Amendment rights of law-abiding gun owners. Joining me now to explain is none other than Kentucky Senator Rand Paul. Welcome to the program, Senator. Glad to be with you, Eric. All right, Senator, first, please, your reaction to President Obama's claims earlier today. Well, you know, I'm, I'm still really saddened and disappointed by the whole thing. You know, the, the shooting was just a horrible tragedy. I have three kids, and my heart goes out to those families. I don't, I don't know how they can be made whole again. I don't know you, how you can ever forget your kids being killed at school. That being said, I think it's a mistake for either side to politicize this, you know. The president uses them as a backdrop and drama for getting some kind of political will. But my question to the president is, call me if any of your reforms would have saved those kids at, at Sandy Hook. If anything he's proposing would have changed the outcome, I'll listen to him. I haven't heard one proposal from him or Harry Reid that would have saved one life. And I'm all for saving lives, and I think it's a real and horrible tragedy but I think it's a mistake to play on the, the, these victims and the, the emotions of their tragedy when nothing he's proposing would change one, one iota of what happened. Senator, you bring up uh, Senator Harry Reid, uh, 